everybody, what's going on? We are sailing on Lindblad Expedition's National Geographic Resolution, and I have a unique opportunity to go check out the engine room and see the sustainability factors that went into powering this Polar Class 5 Expedition vessel. Let's go see behind the scenes and find out what makes this baby go. Okay. First engineer, Camille, gave us the tour and started in the control room before we moved into the engine room and then other areas of the ship. Please welcome our control room. Okay. So uh, there, there are always, uh, there's always uh, engineer in here. So engine room is manned 24-7. Okay. Uh, one engineer sitting here and one motorman who is uh, engine room rating. Are the ones with no numbers by them are active? Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, uh, small, big, big, and small. So the big and big are on, the other two are off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. These rooms are very loud with the engine activity, so we wore hearing protection. tour took us around to see the engines, all kinds of different components, wirings, electrical systems, as well as the water and sewage treatment equipment. Take you here for a moment because it's more quiet. Yeah, so yeah. We, we can talk. Uh, that's the main switchboard okay. for all uh, electrical supplies, gotcha. uh, breakers, uh, fuses, uh, switches, everything is, uh, comes here. Uh, that's uh, forward. We are in forward engine room, right. and that's forward switchboard. Okay. Uh, exactly the same. It's on aft engine room. The ship is able to produce its own supply of water by treating seawater through a process called reverse osmosis.
to finish our tour, we went through the boat garage where the Zodiacs and kayaks are kept, and then took a look at the area at the very aft of the ship, giving a nice view of the water level at the ship's wake. 